you good? Mm -hmm. All right, so we are gonna be doing a permanent ingrown toenail procedure today. Uh, this patient had been dealing with an infection prior to this. So she's already been on an antibiotic. Um, we wanna make sure that there's, you always get rid of the infection before you do the permanent procedure. But as you can see, this edge of nail is digging in quite a bit and the skin's trying to come up and over it. So I'll try to walk through this. She's already been numbed up, so we've given her an injection into both sides of the toe, and that numbs the four branches of the nerve that goes to the big toe. And what you're looking at now is we put a little, it's called a tourniquet, a little tourniquet on um, that helps so that I can actually see what I need to do. So, so the first step is you use a little instrument called a spatula, and we'll just slide down this edge of nail, and the patient should feel pressure and the toe move, but shouldn't feel anything sharp. Do you feel anything sharp? Perfect. So you just put the little spatula down the edge. And then the next step is you use a, or a instrument called an English anvil. And you put that instrument right down the nail edge. Okay. And then you basically cut the nail. And then you use a different shaped type of scalpel tip and that goes right down that same edge and goes underneath the skin fold to release any of the nail that we can't see with the visible eye and then you take a hemostat and we go right down this nail edge and I clasp one to it and then you roll out and you can see all of the nail that was underneath the skin fold that we couldn't see with a visible eye which is why the patient was infected and was hurting quite a bit and then you take a curette and that's what allows me to scrape the nail edge make sure I don't feel any remaining nail underneath there and in this patient she actually had developed kind of this skin flap if you can see this, and that's just really, really inflamed, aggravated tissue. And so I'm also gonna trim that off so that doesn't become a bigger problem. All right, so now we are ready for the chemical, and the chemical is called phenol. Uh, it's 89% phenol, and it's what's used to help kill the nail root. And you do either three or four applications of this, but for about a total of a minute and a half. And we just basically stick this edge down the nail edge, and that's what kills the nail root. Now this is about 90% successful. There is a 10% chance the nail edge would try to recur in that event, then we just repeat the procedure. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. After the procedure, since it is a chemical that creates a burn, it's very normal that she may have some redness at the base of the nail, kind of around this whole periphery underneath here. If the redness extends past this where this little tourniquet is, that's more indicative of an infection. And you should always call the office if you experience that, and they may need to get you on an antibiotic. more. As you can see, if she were not numb, this would not be the most comfortable part of the procedure. Do one more. Okay, then we'll seal up, seal up the phenol. One last scrape to make sure there's nothing stuck underneath. Now, all of this is extra skin too, so I'm gonna trim that off. Okay, and because of all that extra skin, this doesn't happen all the time, 
I'm just gonna put a little bit of silver nitrate on. This is a, a topical agent that helps so that when I release the tourniquet, it's not um, going to bleed excessively. It will make the skin edge look black. That won't stay that way and that's very normal. And then the last thing is you clean the surrounding skin with alcohol that actually neutralizes the chemical that I put on so it doesn't hurt the surrounding skin. And then we remove the tourniquet. Show you the bandage that we'll put on that she will leave with. We apply Sylvidine, which is an antibiotic that's actually really good for burns. And then we put a non-adhesive followed by some gauze. Now the bandage that I'm gonna put on will stay on until tomorrow morning. And then starting tomorrow morning, she'll be able to take that off and begin her twice daily soaks. And then she will be coming back in about two weeks for a repeat follow-up. And that is it, thank you.